and Cody Powell. Sound good? Okay. Greetings, we are the Pith Lords. The Pith Lords, get ready for electoral guitar and Elvis presidential puns. The opposition in this election think the president is a republic enemy. He's not their flavor favorite. The rednecks in Alabama think he's from Kanye. Shares the birth certificate. <laughs> the new notorious GOP didn't get enough Johnny Cash from his super two-pack. A valid point. Now, Van Palin brought some noise, but ultimately, she was meatloafing around. At one point, there were like 10,000 Kaniacs. You know, that guy who sold pizza with Bon Jovi's. The others thought, R.E.M. Trouble? He dropped out Duran, Duran the Winter, around Decemberist. Bachman had the backing of the Ice Tea Party and made it Jethro Till Springsteen, but didn't do well in the Primus. The Republicans haven't fought like that since the days of Taft Punk and the Doors Roosevelt. Those old Weezers were some beefy boys. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, some Devocrats were Biden dirty, like King C. John <laughs> Edwards and his hanky Bernanke. <laughs> what a skeezy wonder. Not the governor of California and his staff, you know, the insane brown posse. They have budget problems to juggalo. The TV on the radio heads held a debate moderated by Stephen Wolf Blitzer in the Stu Stu studio. The Iggy paparazzi took lots of pixies. Poor Mitley crew. Rick really Santorum a new one in the debate. Really skinnered his Leonard's. Despite that, Mitt is the Romani. I guess less is Mormon. Come November, we can all sing. I want a rock and roll all night and rob me every day. Thank you, Pith Lords. Back for the how many umpteenth year? This is your fifth year with the Pith Lords. Pith Lords in their Pith helmets, and they get pissed off every year when they don't win. 